Hello everyone. In this video, you are going to see an Android application that is based on Kotlin and it plays video files using an EXO player plus it also supports PIP. So here are the features of this application. It is Kotlin based. It runs video videos using an EXO player. It supports PIP, picture in picture support. It could also play audio while the application is under notification support. Plus the app can be played on an Android phone as well as an Android TV. It could play YouTube videos. It could also play M3U8 files plus MP4 files. The access to M3U8 as well as MP4 files are provided through a JSON file. I am sharing this application, the code, the source code of this application through my GitHub link. So if you go in, if you access this GitHub, you will find access to my app folder where you will find the source files as well as the libraries are available. Under libraries, you will find the YouTube API library, the jar file available there. Plus, you also have some extra files here. Under the extra files folder, you will find you have the sample media.json file plus you also have the m3u8 files plus ts files and mp4 files this sample json file is an important file because this is the file in which you have access to the mp3 file m3u8 file is given access here i'm just using a link from the internet but you could always change it to whatever you want Plus, if you are going to access your YouTube, you can provide the respective key and you'll be able to access the YouTube file. Let me go into the code. Let me run the application and then I will show you some of the features available here. So I'm going to play it, play the app on a TV, Android TV. So you could see here, this is an Android TV and we would expect the app to play on the Android TV here. So let me start. It's going to play in the TV right now. So this is playing on the TV right now. So if you want to make it into a PIP, you can click here and then you can click back again here. You can open back again. You could do all these things here. So if I click this one, I could also click. I could go back and stop it if I want to stop it and then now it is you could also dismiss similarly let I let me play the same application on a player okay and an Android phone so this is an emulator for an Android phone so here is going to play while it is going to play let me brief you few things which you need to know so when you come across this file which is the JSON file if the link is empty here, it will go and play the YouTube. So initially, it is going to try playing these files. If this is empty, it is going to play from the YouTube file. So it is actually the JSON file that is going to serve the application. So let's see what happens to our... Uh, yeah, here is our Android app, an emulator. So you could see now I'm going to play the video here. So it is basically playing using the M3U8 file. It is playing here. So if I want to make it PIP, I could do that. And then I could click back. I could open it to a wider screen, right? And also I can go and control the notification bar, right? All this could be done here and you could control the application itself, right? Let me go back and explain to you the code now. So basically on the code level, you have four codes here, Java codes or the Kotlin codes, player notification, starter activity, TV activity and the YouTube activity. So the application starts from the starter activity and then if you go in, here is the link to the JSON file is provided here. So you could change this one if you want to run your own JSON file and then you can see it creates the necessary uh, players here. Okay, The player is registered, the player is made necessary. And then when you want to play on YouTube, it is going to go and call this Kotlin file to run the YouTube. And if you have some notification, this is run through the player notification service. And in the case of in our um, GitHub, I have given you how to use the app. And then here are some concerns when you want to run it on a Google Play. 
and then if you have some problems with the manifest file, what are the problems you could face and the solutions, plus the problems you face in the Gradle and so on and so forth. So here are some scenarios, some possible errors you could face and their solutions. I wish you could try it, you could see and then you could let me know if you face any problems. We are there to help each other and learn from this um, process. Okay, I am not claiming as an expert here, I have just provided you lots of references here. If you want to refer to some of the resources to see how to correct the errors you face. So simple, it starts with the starter activity, goes and initializes the player. From there, it's going to play the EXO player. So it is using the EXO player. So if you want to see the uh, build for the Gradle, you could see it is using version 29. You could change to different versions and you could play it around. If you like this video, if you think it is useful, you could um, subscribe to this channel as well as indicate like to this channel. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.